Typhoon Namandol has brought winds of at least 180 km per hour or 112 miles per hour, and some areas could see 500 mm or 20 inches of rainfall over Sunday and Monday. At least 4 million people have been told to evacuate their homes. Extensive flooding and landslides are expected, while bullet train services, ferries, and hundreds of flights have been cancelled. The typhoon made landfall near the city of Kagoshima on the southern tip of Kyushu on Sunday morning. Kyushu is the southernmost of the four islands that make up the main body of Japan and has a population of more than 30 million people. Authorities had issued a special alert for the island, the first ever put in place outside the Okinawa Prefecture, which consists of the smaller, remote Japanese islands in the East China Sea, the Japan Times reports. Japan's meteorological agency said Namandol would bring torrential rain, storm surges along the coast, and winds so powerful there was a risk that homes could collapse. An official in the city of Izumi said conditions on Sunday afternoon were deteriorating rapidly. The wind has become extremely strong. Typhoon is now moving north across Kyushu, dropping huge amounts of rain on the mountainous center of the island. It is expected to travel up through central Japan towards Tokyo over the coming days and to maintain much of its strength as it moves. The biggest threat to life and property is from the rain, which is already causing rivers to rise and could unleash land and mudslides. People across Kyushu have been told to seek refuge in Shelters, but the evacuation warnings are not mandatory and authorities have in the past struggled to convince people to move to shelter before extreme weather events. By Sunday evening, utility companies said almost 200,000 homes were without in power. In a statement, Prime Minister Fumio Kishida told people to evacuate without hesitation if they feel in danger in any way. That's all for today. This is Grace for WLO reporting. reporting.